Hey guys, welcome back to Total Tailgating at NTP. Now I know if you watched this show before, I know what you're thinking. What are we doing inside? We're not on set. Well, we are on our different set. We're indoors today in my little studio because today we're doing things a little bit in reverse order. We have already made the food. We made our pull, Packer Pulled Hammy Sammy, which you may have seen on this channel a little bit earlier. And what we're gonna do today is um, pair up a cocktail with our Packer Pulled Hammy Sammy. Now we've got a cocktail. When you think about cocktails, you think about pairings. You wanna think about the seasons and it's the fall season, it's football season. So what we're looking for is something earthy, um, something savory sweet today is what we're going to do. And also we wanna pair it with, what we're pairing it with today is pork with the ham. We've got a honey ham that we're pairing it with. So a little sweetness, a little earthiness, and we're doing a cocktail that actually has sage. So stick with us, this is gonna be a really cool one. Now, one of the reasons we came up with this cocktail, and as always, this is kind of our version of it, um, is because the NFL world was rocked with the news this week that Aaron Rodgers has a broken collarbone. So if you watch the show, you know I'm a Packer fan, so this cut me to the, Packer Nation is sick right now. Just, I think it was yesterday, Aaron Rodgers gets put on IR. We are wondering what to do with ourselves. Had a conversation with a lady named Marley. Marley, if you're out there, hi there. This one's for you because she said she could use a stiff drink is basically how we felt after Aaron Rodgers went down. So today we have for you what is called the Medicine Man Cocktail. And uh, of course, it's got our little twist, but here are the ingredients you're gonna need for this cocktail. You're gonna need a light rum. You can go anything from top shelf down to well probably because this has a lot of other ingredients. It's got lemon juice that'll freshen up. Maybe a little lesser. So what, a little lesser rum. So whatever you can afford, I think at this point, we're kind of middle of the road right there. Um, the traditional cocktail goes like this. Two ounces of the light rum, uh, half an ounce of maple syrup, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, and then you throw in some sage leaves when you shake it, float a sage leaf on top, and throw in a pinch of smoked paprika is the traditional medicine man cocktail, or, or close to it. Now, we're going to add a little bit of flair to it. I'm just going to tell you. It's flair, right? We're doing a little bit of flair oh, yeah. today. I'm not, I'm not, we're not kidding you. <laughs> um, so we're going to add a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg. So you can imagine these flavors, number one, they're unique. Um, but they're gonna work together very beautifully. You're gonna love this cocktail, and it is so earthy with the sage, with the maple syrup, um, with the smoked paprika, you get smokiness, and you even get a little bit of a deep brown, creamy brown color. Um, and then you float that sage leaf on top. This is a perfect fall cocktail. Hopefully it will also help to be a little bit of medicine for those poor people of Packer Nation today, all right? So let's go ahead and did you take a look at this cocktail? It actually comes out beautifully. Um, the way we do it, we're gonna dash a little paprika on top and get a little bit of a spotted effect with the uh, sage leaf floating on there. And this is made in a martini glass. This is a shaken cocktail, so it is going to be cloudy, but it is also going to have distributed in it these little specks of the smoked paprika. It's got a lot of effervescence it's got a lot of smokiness because of that paprika and it's gonna be delicious. All right, let me pull this one aside. Let's get a clean glass. Hopefully I don't spill it. Cause that just looks too pretty to spill, don't you think, Jerry? Oh yeah, you don't wanna mess that one up. Yeah, okay, <laughs> now, now um, I told you the traditional recipe, all right? Here's the total tailgating recipe. The first thing we're going to do is throw in a little Bacardi 151, a half an ounce, all right? now. Don't be surprised if you don't find Bacardi 151 at some places. You just need a 151 proof rum. No big deal, all right? Now, what I want to do is just give that a spin. And don't worry, this is going to be really hot because it's a real high alcohol content. But we've got a little something I've got in my pocket here that's going to take care of a little bit of that. It's called a lighter, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to flame this up and do a little bit of magic with this cocktail. So what I need to do is shut off the lights. Let's get it dark in here. What do you think? Oh, yeah. We want to see that, all right? So again, I, I want to tip it carefully, spin it around the edges, and be careful because you can hurt yourself badly. And then we just get that going, all right? Very simply like that. And to that, I talked about adding a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of nutmeg. Hey, JR, what do you think? Why don't we add it right now? Well, let's yeah. flame it up. <laughs> what do you think of that? I think we can do that. Let's do that right now. A little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of cinnamon, you want to go a little easier on the cinnamon. It is a stronger ingredient. 
And then we're going to take this. That. You smell that. It's oh, yeah. absolutely fantastic. Now, guys, take a look at this. What do you think? Seriously. Does it get any better than that? All right. Now, again, we're burning off a lot of the heat that that alcohol, that, that much alcohol can actually affect the drink in a negative manner. Um, but we're going to bring that down. Look at that little flame turret. This All right. Fun. And then to put it out, you can actually just pour it out with ice cold, uh, your ice cold drink or just pop it out. Clap it out with your hands, all right? Okay, guys, that's the fun part, number one. And what you're getting right now, when I turn the lights back on, what you're getting is that toasted cinnamon, toasted mm -hmm. nutmeg. I mean, it is absolutely what I think is gonna be a fantastic addition to this medicine man, all right? So let's go ahead, now we're gonna go basically back to our traditional medicine man cocktail. And so I'm gonna need to do a little pouring to get our two ounces of rum in there, all right? Just like that. Okay, so two ounces go in, glasses go down, and we need a little bit of maple syrup to that. We need half. Now we, there are recipes that have uh, more like three quarters of an ounce of maple syrup. JR and I, I think, found half to be the mo the best as far as we're concerned. Um, half an ounce in there. I'm going to cap that back. And to that, we're going to need to add our lemon juice. Now, swing on around because I want to talk about not just this lemon juice, but first, this maple syrup that we're using. I have got to give a huge shout out to my cousin Jeff, who gave us this maple syrup. Uh, this is a February drawing. He made this himself, guys, and, get, and was generous enough to give us a large portion of this precious material. If you have not had maple syrup that somebody just made out in their backyard, it is off the charts. The flavor profile of this this early run from uh, February, the flavor profile of this is exactly like gingerbread. Is it not, JR? Oh, I mean, yeah, you I tasted it. It took me 15 or 20 minutes to figure out what I was tasting, but you can imagine the spiciness of this maple syrup. It is off the charts. It's not, you're not getting anything like this, even in the grocery store by any stretch. Now, what we're using is the little darker version for a little bit more uh, flavor. And uh, to that, we need to add a little bit of lemon juice. Of course, we've got the maple syrup in there. Now we're gonna take this lemon and I'm gonna roll it out on my countertop first. I wanna try to break up those cells a little bit just to get a little more efficient extraction. Slice it in half. You can just use the juice of one lemon if you wanna just go with it. That'll be about right. It will be a little bit higher than the three quarters of an ounce that the recipe calls for. But again, this is part of the medicine part of it is all that vitamin C right there, guys. And a little bit extra, I don't feel like it's going to hurt, especially with uh, cold and flu season coming on, right? Okay, that goes in. Now, I am using my little uh, press. You can use your hand press. You can just take it and squeeze out and use your hands to remove the seeds. No big deal. I use this. I received this. This is similar to what they use. I was walking the souk in Damascus, and what you do there, it's very hot, it's very dry, but every once in a while they have these little stations, and this is just a guy with a bowl of oranges and a little press like this, and he'll press you out some of the most delicious orange juice you'll ever have, and so I'm very happy to have this kind of a press, but again, it's not necessary by any stretch. All right, now what we wanna do is three quarters of an ounce of our lemon juice, I'm gonna measure that out in this jigger, goes in, and after that, a couple more ingredients. I wanna put a pinch of our paprika. We've already got the cinnamon. I'm doing a two finger pinch, okay? The recipe calls for a quarter teaspoon, but we found that to be a little much for our taste. You can do what you want, but if you wanna check out what, the way I do it is actually, I just take my fingers, and you've heard me talk about two finger pinch of salt, three finger pinch of salt, two finger pinch, three finger pinch. So I'm doing a two finger pinch of the paprika in there. And we're gonna, we're gonna put a little bit on top. It's gonna give us a lot of that smokiness anyway, okay? Now with that, we wanna throw in a few sage leaves, three to be exact. One, two, three in, one on. And we are ready to shake up this cocktail, guys, and pour it in, okay? Now the thing about shaking is, get the lid on and give it a shake. What is with this limp wrist shaking that I see all over? You should frost the cocktail shaker, all right? Whether you have a Boston or whatever, just give it a shake. You've gotta properly dilute this drink for it to taste properly balanced. 
And so now I got some nice frost on the outside. It's freezing my hands. That's what we're looking for. I want to give this a fast pour because I've got to mix in the rest of that Bacardi. And you can see that toasted nutmeg and cinnamon is sticking to the sides as well, just like that. A little bit, again, just a light two finger pinch and I'm gonna dust a little bit of that. And we can see it like starburst on the surface of the drink. Just a little bit. You don't wanna do too much on that because it can get a little too smoky. Add your sage leaf and you've got something that is a beautiful, beautiful cocktail. That is looking good. Let me turn that leaf around. I can't because it's pointing due north apparently right now. <laughs> Magnetic north. Yeah, that's right. All right, so let's get rid of this. Now, um, like I said, we, we did this in reverse. We made the food first, and all we did was do a Packer Pulled Handy Sammy from before, which is a really simple thing to add. Um, and But with this cocktail, I think this is gonna come out really nice. I think it's gonna taste really good. Ham is a great pairing for this. I think, and JR, we were talking about this, I think this would go fantastic with salmon, yeah. um, some uh, a fish that could hold up and has a lot of flavor. This has got lemon juice in it. Um, it's got all that earthiness, all that smokiness. This is a great cocktail for the fall, guys. I hope you will try it. I hope you will enjoy it. I'm looking forward to giving this a try. We know that this sandwich is good. We made kind of a smaller version this time around. Our last ones were like a half, a pound, uh, and then we split them in half. They were insane. Um, these are a little more realistic. Um, but guys, that is our version of the Medicine Man cocktail. We hope it's a little bit uh, therapeutic for Packer Nation in particular. But even if you're not worried about Aaron Rodgers out there, hey, there's, geez, around the NFL, JR, there's tons of, I mean, J.J. Watt is out now. Oh, yeah. uh, what is it, Amendola with the, uh, with the, the New England Patriots? Every team is yeah. Everybody's suffering. Can't remember if it was Amandola. I don't though, think any of them are suffering as much as none of them. Fans, none of them are suffering. Yeah, all suffering. we're of the opinion that the entire NFL suffers when Aaron Rodgers is out of the game, guys. Um, well, that's our cocktail for today. I yeah, hope you will try this. Too. Huh? Patreon. Oh, yes, and if you are interested to check this out and you'd like to support us, please go to our Patreon account, patreon.com slash NFL tailgate party, and we have levels of rewards that we'll offer, but we'll mostly be offloading all of these awesome recipes, more important and our best tips and tricks uh, on our Patreon account. So please support us there if you will, and with that, we will call it a day. It's Saturday. It's time for football, college football, and uh, Packers fans looking to see what a uh, guy named Brett Hundley, who nobody's probably heard of, can do on Sunday. So hope you have a great day. Enjoy your afternoon, and we'll talk to you again next week.